Hey everybody, Tony Gohart here again for another episode of uh, Punk's Doing Stuff. And today we're going to be talking about Danzig. Danzig's got a new uh, movie that's supposed to be coming out. And uh, I took a little bit of uh, bullets here so that way I could, you know, remember this stuff. Because I can't remember it all the top off of my head. But he is going to be doing a movie. Um, <clears throat> I saw it on Blabbermouth a couple days ago and I was going to do that that day. But, you know, shit happens and I'm always busy. I always got something going on. But um, just some of the bullets on there. Um, Glenn Danzig of Misfits and uh, Danzig. Fairly sure everybody should know who they are. Um, you know, he's always a pretty busy guy. You know, whether you like him or you hate him, you cannot say that that guy is not busy constantly doing something. And now he's going to add a uh, film director onto all that shit that he does. So uh, Rob Zombie is going to have some competition now. So... He's got the movie, uh, it says that he's going to be writing it, directing it, and composing it. As far as composing, I don't specifically know what the hell that would mean. Like, is he just going to be doing, like, background noises and shit like that? Um, spooky pianos, some kind of crap like that. Um, I'm fairly sure that there's going to be a soundtrack to it, and it's going to have music, like, actual music instead of just, you know, creepy sounds. So, that should be pretty cool, but he is going to be composing, so... That's going to be uh, interesting. It is going to be about um, his comic series, Ferrotic Comics. Uh, I have no idea if I'm even pronouncing that right. Um, I actually didn't even know that he had comics. Um, I guess it could have not even been that far of a stretch because I know that as far as influences, big time Elvis influence, obviously. You can hear it in his voice and uh, horror movies. I'm surprised he didn't start doing movies before because there, you can tell fucking strongly that he has uh, horror movie influences there. And the Misfits, Danzig, dark, darker kind of tones and all that. So that's definitely on there. And uh, the movie for itself, it's just like a general outline that I was reading, just like very vague. But it does seem like it's going to be one of those um, three-part kind of movies. If you've ever seen uh, Tales from the Crypt movies... Uh, Tales from the Hood, those kinds, where it's got like three different stories in there, and they're all, they don't even connect or anything, but there's always like a, a narrator kind of person, but they'll be, they'll be like, uh, you know, open up the movie, say some stuff, and then it leads into the first story, come back, say some more stuff, and then leads into the next, and so on, and whatever, but it is going to be like that, and that's going to be pretty cool, because I did like uh, Tales from the Crypt when I was growing up. My mom would always uh, be watching that, put that on for us. And uh, some of them are pretty pretty cool, a little twisted and freaky. So that's going to be cool. And then um, it's said that they have plans to start shooting after Irving, the 30th anniversary. So they're going to start about a week after that. So that is going to be coming up um, pretty soon. As far as plans for the release and everything... Um, it did, it had like a full paragraph on there, but I just kind of, like I said, took down the, uh, the main points of it and, uh, they're planning on doing like a midnight screening, like a midnight movie screening for the release, which I think is awesome because, uh, that is generally around the time that you would think something cool, you know, uh, midnight screening late night. And it is supposed to include a, uh, exclusive comic that can only be obtained at the screening. So... Like, let's say you can buy the comic from the comic store or something or whatever, but the only way to get those is to get it specifically from the release, which is pretty cool because that adds a little, you know, a little extra to it. So that'll be cool. Um, I don't even know how long the comic would be if it would just be like a little mini comic or something, but it definitely adds value to it though because very exclusive right there. Um, it also said that uh, one dancing song will be included in the soundtrack. So that does mean that there will be music, music, like actual bands, um, like in addition to all the other creepy shit theme songs and whatnot, but one Danzig song, it doesn't say specifically if it's a, uh, a released Danzig song or if it's going to be unreleased and made specifically for the movie. Um, if it is made specifically for the movie, then that'll be pretty cool because then it'll be, um, you know, it'll just add that much more to the movie to be able to make it feel you know, a bit more awesome. And uh, let's see. What else did I write here? Yeah, so it is um, it is going to be based on Veritic Comics. And that, like I said, that was one of those things that I didn't know. 
that Danzig had done. That's one of the other things that I was saying, like he's always busy doing something. That's one of those things. And I don't read comics, so there would have been no way for me to even know that. But it is a comic that he's been working on. It says that it's been in print since 94. So uh, it's not some new endeavor that he's doing just to, you know, bullshit and hype things up. He's been doing that for a while. And the thing that I was saying was that it's like, uh, like femme fatale kind of stuff where the main character is like some badass assassin or something. And uh, they get pretty, pretty rough and pretty gritty. So that's pretty awesome. But yeah, that's all that I had written down for that. I had saw this and there's not very much detail out right now about it. So that's what's going on right now. If there's anything else, I'll probably put it in one of my, uh, my little punk news segments. If I get around to doing one of those again, I might, I might not. I might just do single segments like I'm doing this one right here. But you never know what's going to happen. I might end up doing some more stuff like that, more stuff like this. Um, doing it like this is pretty cool because I can just, you know, Focus in on that one thing, record, fucking cut, put it up, and that's it. So, um, that was the video. Um, whenever more details come out on this, I'm going to come back and say something because this is going to be pretty interesting. Um, I am wanting to check that out a lot, actually. So, um, hit that like button, subscribe, and stick around. I've still got some more stuff. I'm going to start working on a battle uh, vest for Rebecca. I was going to go and look for a battle jacket so that way I could like start patching it and studying it and doing all that good stuff. But there's just, you know, so little time, you know, running around with the kids and everything. But anyway, like I said, hit the like button, subscribe, share the video to somebody who uh, also likes Danzig. Share the video to somebody who doesn't like Danzig. Maybe they might start to like them a little more after they see that they're that um, he's pretty creative. And there's, you know, more than just the misfits and Danzig when it comes to him because he's fucking all over the place. So stick around.